Hi all, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. So just a sort of another update on this Solana transactions issues. Um, well, reading this tweet by this Mert uh, guy, this dev, it, it makes it sound uh, a lot more positive about Solana. And it makes me hugely bullish on it, I've got to say. So there is a stat going around CT about failed transactions on Solana. It is, it is misleading and 90% of the people using it don't know what it means. I will explain for non-techies, all right? So first, an example of how a usual interaction in Web2 works. So you go on Twitter. So this is just giving an example of Twitter. You go on Twitter and click on my profile. This changes the URL to x.com oxmert, okay? What's happening here is the X site called the client is requesting data from the X servers called the server. It's saying, hey, server, give me the data about oxmert, okay? Now, in most cases, the X servers will say, okay, here's the data. This is a successful uh, response called a 200. So the client made a request and the server responded successfully. B, in some cases, the X servers might be broken and will respond with a 500 response indicating the server has a fault. So the client made a request and the server responded unsuccessfully. Okay, so here's the important bit. There are some cases where the client might make a bad request okay to the server you've actually all seen this before so example of 404 error page page not found maybe isn't misspelled mert somehow the server tells you this so that you can make a better request this might also be something like a 401 unauthorized meaning you don't have the credentials to view a service resource so the client made a bad request and the server responded successfully okay now let's loop it back to solana so when you see something that says failed on a Solana Explorer, this re represents C above, okay? This this example here. Um, no, there is more nuance to it. Okay, so this is, this is for non-technical people. Uh, so the chain processed the request successfully, but the smart contract said, wait a minute, this is a bad request. Why would the smart contract do this? Some obvious reasons. You do not have the right permissions to call this smart contract. Uh, since you call a smart contract, the market's moved and exceeded your slippage tolerance. Uh, three, a bot was spamming for arbitrage and the arbitrage doesn't exist anymore. And from that article I did on the other video, it sounds like this is sort of the main reason for uh, the, the transactions uh, problems. So note that this is a different from B above. The chain server is not down. It is doing what the smart contract is telling it to do. So they're not really failed uh, transactions. It, the smart contract's doing what it's supposed to do, okay? So it's important to make the distinct, this distinction because if you're not precise about the problem, you can't fix it properly. Two, it uses the same network resources, which is important to understand for scale and uptime considerations. Okay, so there's also a case of terminology being overloaded here. The above chart says the word failed, okay, transaction, when it's not really failed, okay. But in the context of Solana, this is a specific term, similar to the 200, 400, and 500 numbers. When most users say failed, they are broadly referring to their transactions not becoming successful, okay. The bottom line is they don't care why it's failed, you know. You know, they, they tried to do something and it didn't work, okay. So to them, it looks like a failure. So currently, the most common reason for this is that transactions don't make it on the chain in the first place, all right? So if it's not making it on the chain in the first place, it's not really failed. Okay, so they get dropped because block leaders can only handle so many at once. This is a problem, but a separate one, okay? A separate problem. The chart above is referring to something else. It represents transactions that didn't get dropped uh, and were successfully submitted to the chain, and the smart contract made a deliberate decision to tell you that it's a bad request. This is usually not a big problem for users because your wallet will simulate the transaction and let you know that it will not work beforehand anyway, okay? So it's gonna tell you that this transaction is not gonna work. So you shouldn't get, it shouldn't be a failed transaction if you don't you know, press the button basically. And so almost all failed transactions you see on these charts are bot spam. And this has always been a thing. Failed transaction rates have been too high since months ago. People are now just noticing the drop transaction issue and conflating it with this one instead. The reason I wrote this is because people are using this chart to say Solana's throughput is fake 
or that it is down. This is not the case, since it exerts the same system load. The chart also, importantly, doesn't accurately capture the user experience, since the overwhelming number of issues are before the transactions, okay? Before the transactions even make it to the block. However, it does show that the system allows for too much spam with ne negligible economy economic activity okay so obviously that is an issue in fact if that problem were fixed current revenue numbers and throughput would increase a ton okay so this could be a good thing this is kind of highlighting what the problem is and they can fix this problem hopefully importantly we all understand that this is a problem and so this is all being fixed there are many talks and proposals on tackling these issues adding better logic so that block leaders don't drop proper transactions this is the big one today. Adding better incentives and fee markets so bots don't find it plus EV, okay, to spam the chain, okay? So we, we want these bots not doing what they're doing at the moment, okay? That's 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 the problem, and that's the thing that kind of needs resolving. So user experience will continue to get better as we put the system to the limit and iterate via learnings. Now, from what I can gather, Solana is still, still a test now, okay? And people don't seem to give it, uh, credit is still, I'm pretty sure it's still testnet. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong there. But anyway, to me, this sounds really bullish. You know, uh, they can resolve these problems and uh, it, it, it'll just improve the chain even more. Okay. So uh, I'm bullish on Solana. Let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.